you don't have a husband, there is no problem. Just get somebody to impregnate you. You will need someone to take care of you in your old age. My name is Olushe Gumokolu. I recently had someone advising women like this on social media. This is a satanic, devilish advice or counsel. Why will you indulge in fornication simply to bring a child into this world? That in itself shows that you are very selfish and very self-centered. Why do you want a child to come into this world without having the privilege to have a father and to have a mother? What becomes of that child? In the process of bringing that child to this world, if you die, what happens to that child? If why that, if why that child is young, you die, what happens to that child? So you see that it is both sinful and foolish and also extremely wicked. Wait upon the Lord. He said, even in your old age, he will take care of you. Have you not seen people who have six, seven children who still suffers in their old age? And have you not seen people who never had a child and they had a very beautiful and peaceful old age? What is most important is faithfulness to the Lord. Just walk in the Lord. Ensure that your life synchronizes with the word of God. That is all that matters. He will take care of you. God is not blind to the fact that you are aging, you are not married, or that you are not pregnant. We didn't come to this world to have a child. We came to this world to fulfill the purpose of God. We came to this world to be a pleasure unto God, to serve Him. That's all you need to do, really. You see, having children is a privilege. What is most important that we should do with our lives is actually to serve the Lord. Is actually to do the will of God. That is all that matters. Jesus said in the volume of the book as it is written of him, he has come to do the will of the Father. That is what you should be pursuing. God is not going to judge you on the day of judgment based on the number of children you have He's not going to judge you based on whether you had children or not while you were here on earth. But how did you live for his will? Did you obey him? Did you serve him all the days of your life? That is all that matters. And that is all that you should do. And the grace of the Lord will keep and comfort you. I am your brother in Christ. And my name is Olu Shegun Mokuolu. God bless you.